I'm going to walk you through our first forum assignment. Uh, there are other videos that show you how to go ahead and use Sakai uh, to present to forums. This won't cover that, but we'll explain the assignment itself of what I expect you to do. So step one, I'm going to have you pick a period, something you're interested in. You could know a lot about it. You could know nothing about it. Uh, but for me, I'm going to pick Egyptian costumes. because That's coming up for us. So if I type in Egyptian costumes to a, a search, in this case, I just went with the standard Google. Uh, it pretty much what we all expected to happen happened uh, in that the internet is trying to sell us things because that's what the internet does. So if I type in Egyptian costumes, I get a bunch of different sites that have to do with selling me a costume to wear for Halloween, say. Um, I have opened all of the things I'm going to talk about so that you don't have to watch them load. But if I were to click over here at images, this would come up. Um, and so under images, which we all love, Google Images, uh, you would see all of these costumes which may or may not have historical basis or maybe some extrapolation thereof. And so they're not a really good source of or research, as we know. Um, so if I go back to, to Egyptian costumes and I decide to narrow that search for something that may uh, produce uh, some scholarly writing, on some sort of Egyptian costume, uh, this is where step two comes into play for you. So step two now is you're going to narrow that search. So Egyptian net dress is what I searched for. Um, and so here we see something that uh, now we're coming up with something that's very specific, I'm not really seeing any ads. But you will see that the very first thing here, high fashion of ancient Egypt, the bead net dress, on ancient origins. Now I came across this when I was researching to put together uh, images for this class because I was looking for examples of the bead net dress. I first got here and something sort of uh, gave me a little pause. Uh, first of all, when you go to this site, uh, part of the reason I preloaded it is you will see that it's working on downloading things for a very, very long time. That's usually an example of a site that uh, has so many ads and things uh, that it takes a very long time to download. So that's always sort of piques my interest when I see that. Uh, second of all, the tagline here says reconstructing the story of humanity's past. That felt a little pseudoscience-y to me. And so sure enough, I did an internet research sort of search for this site. And many credible people say that it is indeed a pseudo archaeology. So you've got to be very careful about even when you come across something that may have some great images or some good information, you still have to be careful about what that source is. Uh, you all know this, but I, I feel the need to reiterate it. Um, so if you, the good thing about this particular page on this site is it does cite where this particular net dress is from. So I love this image. I want to go ahead and link to it from its original source, which is the Museum of Fine Arts Boston. If I go back to the search here, it's actually number four. No idea why the pseudoscience one ranks above the uh, an actual museum. Uh, but if we go there to the museum, we see the dress. We can actually clearly see what period it is from. You've got you know information. Uh, it, it it actually explains. So this is is all credible good research and it usually in these days of internet searches you're always finding your way towards that um, to go along with this let's say i uh, switched over to the image search here i've already preloaded it so this is a pre uh, preloaded uh, image search for egyptian net dress so i see this same image over and over and over again from uh, the museum but what am I seeing? I'm seeing Pinterest. This is because you can see down here where the image is from, Pinterest. You know, so many of these things. I love Pinterest. I use Pinterest all the time. Uh, but Pinterest, to some degree, has ruined the Google image search. Because when you click, you know, to go find where something is, it says this. I can even visit the site. This is why I preloaded most things. <sighs> And it doesn't tell me where this dress comes from. So it may have dates on it, but I don't know if these are credible dates. I can click on this and it's from a blog spot from somewhere else, but I don't actually know 
more information about the actual historical authenticity of this piece. So that's why I'm having you do this exercise. You're going to pick an item, a general period. You're going to pick an item from that period, and then you're going to share a credible research item on the form. So in this case, it would be uh, here, this Mu Museum of Fine Arts Boston link. You would go up here, copy the link, um, and share that link on the form.